lady, I know you're about to die and all, so it's not really my place to say, but you don't need any more cake. You got plenty of cake as it is. What's up guys, welcome back to Death Incoming. The only game where people can go from awkwardly making out at a barbecue to being barbecued at the gentlest nudge from the Grim Reaper. You know what, being Death Incarnate isn't always easy, but sometimes it's got its advantages. I get into a place like this to kill people like you, whoever you are. He looks like somebody tried to clone R. Kelly and Soldier Boy together, except they left the microwave on for like 60 minutes instead of 60 seconds. It's a common enough mistake, okay? I have absolutely no problem taking your soul. Or whatever is gonna be left of it after you keep chugging all that wine. Wait, why do I even need to influence the situation? Look, my options are to have him drink water, have him drink hot sauce, or have him keep drinking wine. He's already on the path to kidney failure. I, I could just wait. I guess the idea is time is money. I've got other souls to get to, so I might as well just give him a splash of the sauce. It is on brand for me, I suppose. It might melt your grills, but I still don't see how this is gonna kill you. Oh, okay, I am so sorry, lady. You did not deserve that. What? I did get a two for one special, so I can't really complain. <laughs> is it safe to say that I should just bring him straight to hell? His reaction to getting a drink he didn't like was to shoot the waitress in the face. <laughs> Little did he realize this place comes equipped with bulletproof drink trays. My rounds don't usually take me out this far, so I'm a little bit out of my element. But like, I don't need to be some kind of rocket biologist to be able to tell that that is not your ship. Right? There's no way that somebody in an astronaut suit playing in low gravity yelling woo would fly a flying saucer. It just doesn't add up. So the question is, whose craft is that? And why is there a flag with your face on it throbbing out the top? Should I be taking this and giving it to you? Maybe you can claim Mars for humanity, please? Uh, oh, heads up! Dude, I said heads up! How did you become an astronaut when you've got the reaction time of a hamburger? <laughs> Don't they put you through tests? I know I can't exactly have a heart in this line of work, and I'm also technically a skeleton, which means I wouldn't have a heart anyway, but like, no one wants to pull an Anakin. We've got little Timmy here, who's busy playing with the world's most boring model train, and he has to die. Not totally sure how. I don't suppose this thing has some chokeable parts, no? How about we get you to put this away, and then we can go drink all of the colorful stuff under the sink? Nope, he really wants to play with that train. Did you know that there's a reason you should bolt tall furniture to a wall? It's because they tend to turn kids into jam. It's a feature that people want to avoid. You see, these are the jobs that I take a lot more pride in because this guy clearly has it coming. I don't know why you would want to try to steal from a fire-breathing lizard that's the size of a dump truck, but I'm going to equip you with a Polly Pocket mirror and you can go ahead and actually pull it off. Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Didn't think that was gonna happen. How about we go with the Cloak of Invisibility? Which also worked. You have got to be kidding me right now. Okay, third time's a charm. Let's give you the very loud icy boots and there you have it. Like, I don't care what happens to the body. It can become as much dragon poop as it wants to. I just need the soul. Yeah, I gotta get that money. Speaking of getting more money, I guess dragon digestion was an interesting enough death to spawn the lucky wheel. In fact, I don't really want money from this. I could get three more spins or what looks like a different scythe, I guess. 500 coins is good, can't complain. 
If you didn't see my last episode on this game, then you might be wondering what could the Grim Reaper want to spend money on? The answer to that is terrifying paintings of cat ladies and gold-plated robot vacuums. I'm going to treat him like my son and train him to kill. You can also get floors and drapes and stuff like that, but a lot of the prices are absolutely ridiculous. Like, I really need to pay a visit to whoever thought it was a good idea to charge a thousand dollars for a lamp. No, did I screw up the paperwork or something? Like, oh, I wanted the lamp salesman, not the lamp repairman. <laughs> this guy hasn't done anything to me. But I guess his time is up anyway. Your, your soul will do. How many dead men does it take to change a light bulb? Oh, there's some one at the door. No, lady, come back. I, I could really use a busty partner in death. Listen, it's lonely being the Grim Reaper, okay? I can appreciate both talent and titties. It's safe to say when I woke up this morning, I did not think that I would be reaping the soul of some kind of dollar store wubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> like, he's in his lab, chugging coke, and then burping before breaking out his phone and whistling at some OnlyFans. Very highly scientific stuff. A whole lot of breakthroughs happening here with all these chemicals. I... Wonder if I give you a touch of this, would you then mm -hmm. chug it back and... I was kind of hoping you would turn into some kind of fruit. Like it'd be the funniest thing I've ever seen, but not that dumb, huh? Alright then, I'm guessing I need to give you something that actually looks like Coke, and then maybe you'll turn into Banana Richards or, or whatever, it'll be funny. No, just chlorine poisoning. Whatever, that works for me. Well, it looks like we've definitely moved on to another very stable genius. <laughs> like, I have to assume that this is some kind of trust fund child, because he's in a mansion, but he's playing ping pong with himself. No table, no friends, just throughout the night. Uh, I'm gonna try giving you this, and I'll question whether or not that basketball is made of cement. Maybe they just cheaped out with the contractors? E either way, I did not see that coming. I'm having a hard time telling whether or not this guy is eight feet tall, or if this pickup truck is the size of a golf cart, but his deep throating of the bottle is really starting to concern me. And I noticed that we keep flying past some kind of telephone line power cables or something like that wouldn't normally be the kind of thing that you can reach, but if you're a giant, then maybe we can get you to stand up? No? Oh, I probably need to put it like up here. Then you'll stand up and reach and get clothes lined. They're not even connected to anything. What? That's not even really my doing. That's just poor city planning. What is this guy's problem? He's hurting, he's got himself a fat tittied nurse who brings him more painkillers every time he presses the button. Okay, interesting. We've got a book and we've got a tablet. What happened if I give you the book? If you read and fall asleep? And then don't get any more of, oh, oh, um, I don't think that's how that works, but sure. Yeah, you know what, why not? Again, I feel the need to point out that last one, technically not my fault. That's just nurse negligence. Uh, and I wanted to put that on the record now in case somebody finds out what I've been doing. I'm kind of going under the boss's nose here, just to keep it on the down low. So we've got this guy cleaning windows, and I guess we could give him a bit of a spritz in the eye, or is he just afraid of the bottle? Because I'm not squirting it. it. Must be hard to be a window cleaner when you have a phobia of soap. <laughs> here you go, how about we just give you some water? Oh. He's fine. Well, that's surprising. Why is there a ship's anchor on the roof of the building? <laughs> okay, we're three for three on those not being my fault. I, I just kind of had a, a little influence, but not enough for really be incriminating. Giving my murder Roomba access to the internet might be a mistake, 
or it might be one of the greatest things that I've ever done. So I'm gonna spend $1,300 on a router and you go ahead and just start absorbing information. We'll check back on you later. Ooh, that really sucks for you, lady. You got a bald eagle that's getting ready to hijack this balloon. And whatever you do, don't call it bald. It's very self-conscious of its lack of hair. So should you throw meat at it, or should you shoot it with a slingshot? And whatever you do, you might want to come up with a solution quick, because the problem's only getting worse. The higher you get, the thinner the air is. I'm assuming that shooting a slingshot means you're probably gonna put a hole and then you can come plummeting down to your death. Is this gonna be... Oh, not as bad as I expected. She's still got the bubble booty. I expected her to explode. Now we find ourselves out at sea with a pirate who's got himself booty, bananas, and a magnifying glass. You might think the bananas are weird, but honestly, you need them while at sea to stave off with scurvy and shingles and stuff like that. If anything, it's the magnifying glass that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, especially because you only have one eye. Um, that is stupid, but not deadly, damn. Maybe if I give you the bananas, then you'll get a little on your shirt, have to take it off before burning it? No. Maybe if I give you enough bananas, then you'll have the squirts and have to relieve yourself overboard? No. I don't suppose I could just hold this and start a fire wherever I want or give it to the sun. There we go. That's the effect we were looking for. <laughs> Imagine burning to death on the ocean. It's like starving to death in a food aisle. I can't think of a better place for me to be other than a life or death situation. This guy seems to have fallen down a hole in the middle of the desert. And I can give him a rock. And by give him, I mean throw a rock at him. Can I throw a bigger rock at you? Oh, that... That would be a problem. Pretty sure that would result in death. Again, this is one of these scenarios where I can kind of just wait it out. <laughs> Clearly, there's something else wanted of me. Can I uh, give you a cloud? Oh, I can fill it with water. I'm sorry, couldn't he then just escape? You know? because he floats to the top and then he crawls out. If you're in a swimming pool that's empty and it gets filled, you don't drown, you just get out. <laughs> he deserved to die. Wow, drowning a guy in the desert is really enough to summon the lucky wheel, is it? All right, I'll take it. Let's see what we can get. I'm kind of hoping for the bat, but at the same time, I'm okay with money. I would prefer more than the least amount of money, but that works. Excuse me, sir, I'm sure you're having a very intense conversation right now, but I wanted to point out, you shouldn't be anywhere near Frosty as he does electrical work. <laughs> he is not a certified electrician. I can guarantee that this is not going to end well for him or even start. Can I uh -huh. get you? Oh, I can't solve the problem. Well, thank you for straight up telling me. I'm happy that I'm not completely invisible to people. <gasps> Can I make it rain, or can I melt you? Oh, Frosty. I appreciate the assist, but I don't get a soul for you. We've seen quite a few weird situations so far, but I feel like this one is pretty straightforward. Do we want the guy to use the ax to cut the tree down, which will then crush him to death? Or do we want the beaver to cut the tree down, which will then crush him to death? I kinda wanna go with the beaver. I feel like it'll be a little bit more unique. You know, I gotta keep things interesting. You really don't wanna cut down that tree for me, huh? All right then, I guess we'll just have to deal with the old fashion way. Or not. Uh, I don't suppose the beaver just wants to attack this guy in his sleep for treading on his territory. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Do you wanna bludgeon him with the ax? Because I'm all for it. Oh, he ate the axe. And then it popped back into existence. I'm the gatekeeper of life and death, and even I don't know what the Christ is happening here. 
it has to have something to do with this tree. Like, the dude cut through 99% of it and then fell asleep. <laughs> it's kind of unsafe, but I might be able to put the beaver in the tree and then he'll give it the nudge that it needs. Okay. That's <laughs> so you get for sleeping on the job. Lady, I know you're about to die and all, so it's not really my place to say, but you don't need any more cake. You got plenty of cake as it is. <laughs> I don't suppose I could take a slice a year behind, no? Oh, our options are fire extinguisher or a balloon. Can I hit you with a fire extinguisher? Just bludgeoning you to death with that would definitely make things a little bit easier. This light seems awfully suspicious as well. Could uh, tie the balloon to the knife, and then the light will set it off. All right, <laughs> right down the top of the head too. Well, she got her last meal. Okay, perfectly acceptable way to die, I suppose. I want to say raising the murder Roomba has been going well. It's definitely been taking up a whole lot of information from the internet, but we need to give it a reason to kill. A reason like a thousand dollar lamp. <laughs> Just stew on that for a second. Look around at online prices for lamps compared to what I pay. It'll definitely make your blood boil. Or so the phrase goes. I don't know about you guys, but when there's only a thin chain link fence between me and a bloodthirsty piranha plant that's the size of a yoga ball, I get the feeling I wouldn't be writing in my diary. <laughs> He's got fire, but I don't want him to have fire. I would rather he puts out the fire. Maybe I can like, water the plant somehow or grow another one. Yep, that'll work too. I'll take it. Didn't give him a chance to defend himself with the torch. Fishing where there's a no fishing sign is a bit of a dick move. But ice fishing on the ocean seems largely impossible, but it could also result in sharks. Can I uh, give you a, a nice hefty catch and then... Oh, you didn't get eaten. Congratulations, you only froze to death? Drowned? It's better than being shark poop. Is this lady learning how to walk for the first time or something? I mean, she's built like a french fry, so it might be kind of difficult. Oh, we're passing by stuff. If I open the manhole cover, then maybe I can launch you into it? Yeah, that works. Did you guys know that some manhole covers are covering over holes that could be like hundreds of meters deep? I always just assumed that it was like a couple of feet and then you're in the sewer, but Ninja Turtles apparently lied. Those holes can be absolutely massive drops. I take one second out of the video to spit a random fact that I learned recently, and all of a sudden I find myself lost in time? Like, oh, I'm having some serious deja vu. Didn't we already have you drown? Or freeze to death? I, I definitely just made a shark poop joke. Can I just do the same thing again and... <gasps> oh. Oh, it's different this time. Okay, um, let's have you fish then. Right, you're fishing, so... You can have fish? No? Just put the fish elsewhere? Okay. Why did you duplicate the sign? Why are you using it to hammer through the ice? If you can use a sign to hammer through the ice, you should not be standing on it. It's just another average day at work for the Grim Reaper. We've got a wanted fugitive who's currently whistling at a school bus stop. <laughs> Question is, do I want to give him his hat? which will make him match his poster, or do I want to give him his gun and possibly get in a standoff with police, which might not end well? I feel like I should give him the hat, and then uh, uh, somebody is gonna shoot him in the head. I guess there was a sniper on the grassy knoll just waiting for confirmation. Hey, it's another barbecue. Yeah, we're hanging out, we're eating meat, we're... Making out awkwardly again? God, every friggin' time. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think you guys might deserve just a touch of the poison. No? Why is this poison not working? Do you want to just drink it straight? Because 
I'd be fine with that. No, we clearly need to poison the burgers, and I'm probably gonna get a twofer if he can feed it to her fast enough before he dies. Can I duplicate your meat? Okay. Oh, I see. We get uh, the world's biggest seagull flying by. That thing was the size of a golden retriever, but now we've got some poison burgers, and I get my souls. Wait, does that mean I get four? Why do I only get three? Oh, come on, it was a two-for-one special. That totally should have added up. <laughs> Again, I would take it up with my boss, but I'd, I'd rather not. All right, you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Death Incoming, guys. And I can't remember if I said this at the end of the last episode, but I just assumed this was going to be a really bad knockoff of Death Coming, which was a good game that I played on the channel. I did an entire series on it. Highly recommend it if you enjoyed this. But it ended up being way more fun than I would have thought. I really enjoyed it, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So if you want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to see how the Death Roomba handles soon. Murder Roomba? I've already forgotten my son's name. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.